this problem uh, is obviously related to the fact that the, the, the evidence that is currently guiding uh, the management of cancer has been uh, established on a much younger and much fitter population of patients. Although there were patients who were in, all in the clinical trials that are now included in this evidence base. Um, so when we treat older cancer patients, we deal with much more uncertainty. So I think from a, from a general point of view, we should, aiming, should be aiming at you know, building more evidence um, that would guide the, use, you know, the, the management of cancer in this age group, which means uh, trials specifically uh, including older adults, which means uh, more relaxed eligibility criteria that would allow older people with cancer to be included in clinical trials, or trials addressing more um, tailored form of treatment specifically uh, in this population. Second, from a very pragmatic point of view, I think, as I said, as I said that we should really be um, you know, embedding genetic assessment in routine practice, and whenever we offer an older patient a particular treatment, look at uh, that person's life expectancy, the expected benefits of uh, the treatment, the expected toxicities, the potential risk of toxicities on that particular treatment, and there are a number of tools that we can use for these purposes, and have a very much, a much more informed discussion with the patient when we consent, um, obviously, that person for a particular treatment.